Christ. Hey, hey, you right. Jesus Christ is a man and a woman. Mother Jesus Christ is a man and a woman. Yahweh Is he a man or a woman? Don't say Jesus Christ. Is Jesus Christ a man or a woman? A unisex. No sex. If I if I am God, I can give birth to anything in this world. They hate that the prophets are back teaching our people the truth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. Yes, that is who we are. You know why men, black men kill each other? Because they don't see each other in Jesus Christ. We are Israelites from the time of the truth. Let's go to Hebrews uh, 7 and 14. Because they don't see each other in Jesus Christ. Let's go to Hebrews 7 us have been raised by grandparents, whether it's the mother's side or the father's side. In your case, your mother's mother was, your, was a mother to you. Your mother's father was a mother, was a father to you. So you, you gravitate towards them and you esteem them as the people that raised you and as your father. I go by old. Right, but what we're talking about now is the identity of the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans as a nation where your identity comes from, where your nationality comes from. So read that again. Well, I, I, I feel like you know Number the numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Bring it out. And they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Uh -huh. And they declared their pedigree. So they declared their pedigree. Now, what's a pedigree, bro? A birth. It's, oh, a, it's a, a bloodline. But, but it's a what lineage. he said, a symbol, a symbol means trying to establish something at a certain point in time. Already, the congregation was already established. Exactly. He said they assembled. They were trying to change. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigree. So they, all of their bloodlines, all of their pedigrees were declared how? After their families uh -huh. by the house of their father. Now, we're not asking you who was the greatest influence on your life or who actually raised you and, and what side of your family had the, the biggest influence on you. That's we're true. showing you that your bloodline is based on the house of your father. Your father, for lack of better words, could have been a deadbeat nigga towards you. Your, your true biological father, right? Right, right? You didn't know him. You may not have known your father. That does not mean, that doesn't make the fact that he is one of these men any exactly. different. And I, what it shows right though right is right. that your bloodline goes through your father. We're not saying that your father had a great influence on you. But as a matter of fact, most of our families, we came up with single parent households, right? But the fact is, when you coming back, you mentioned something that you don't want to deal with a book, right? You got to understand something about this book here. Go to Revelation no, 1 again. Go to Revelation 1 again. Where the officer tried to oh, show God. you, bless and see that reader. Revelation, chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. So it says, blessed is he that readeth. Read. And they that hear the words of this prophecy uh -huh. and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. So we're out here to bring this prophecy to you. We're showing our people, the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, your true nationality is an Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. You must read that for yourself, though, right. and understand that. Give me Isaiah 34, verse 16. I got a couple more seconds. Let me let us come back up. I want, I want to deal with that for a second, because a lot of our people go up against the Bible. No. They come up thinking that the Bible is a white man's book, or it's a book for every nation, and then we don't understand that the Bible is actually this here. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Bring it out. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and, and read. And do what? And read. Read that again for the top. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. There was a reason why, brother, 300 years ago, you would be put to death if you tried to read. That's right. Is that not part of our history? That the black man, the so-called black man, was put to death what? if he tried to read any book. Hey. Let alone the Bible here. Teach. Is that the truth? 
You were not allowed to read. Who was the think, first teacher, though? Why do you who think your enemies? Why do you think your enemies did who not want you to read, brother? Because you were the first teacher. No, because the truth of this Bible here would actually put you who over them the eventually. It'll free you who from your captivity. Read who, that again. Who taught the white man, bro? Read that again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, no verse 16. Bro, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. He says, don't worry about it. I mean, he's all right. Yeah, he's just yeah, doing yeah, his yeah. job. You like me, bro. I ain't even like that. He said, but who was the first teacher? Your mother or your father? Who was my first teacher? Who was the first teacher ever on earth? The first teacher ever on earth with the Most High God. Because he gave all okay. okay. statutes okay. and commandments okay. for people okay. to do. Okay. That's right. You understand? Can I say when that? When the first man was created, let's get that. Get Genesis 2. That says it's not good when he created Adam real quick. Nope. Let's see what he taught Adam, the very first man. Cause you, you want to go all the way to the beginning, right? I want to go straight. So let's go to the beginning, and then what you'll see is that you actually come from that man, so that we can get off of the semantics, we can get Abraham. off of the name doctrines, Abraham. we can get off of the foolishness that's in our minds, and we can actually get to the point of the matter, which is you acknowledging that you're an Israelite and that you must repent so what and keep did God's what, laws. What did Read that. The book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. Bring it out. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. When God formed man of the dust of the ground, bro, what color is that? What was the color of the first man? Bring it out. You call it red? The very or first clay. man, red or clay, right? Look at that ground right there. Does that look red or clay? It looks, it looks like clay. I, I lived in that. all I skin. When I used to live in another town, I had clay in my yard. So when I drive through the clay of the rain, my tires would be brownish, red, and things of that nature, right? But it said God formed man in the dust of the ground. What color is that ground? Brown, right? Different shades of brown. And the deeper you, deeper you get, what color? It gets darker, right? Wow, that's right. So what was that very first man? Wow, that's it. He was a black man. He, the very first man, the very first Adam ever created was a black man. There was no that's such right. thing as a white man on the planet at the time. Right. 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 Let's right. see what the most when I did, was, though. When was the first Let's stick white to the point. We're not, you know what? See? We'll get to that. See? We'll get to that in a second. But let's deal with this point here. Read. Read for the top again. The book of Genesis, excuse me. The book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. Uh -huh. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. What did he do? And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. He breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Read. And man became a living soul. So what did he breathe into his nostrils to make him become a living soul now? You got the precept in Wisdom of Solomon? The breath of life? 724. Get that. You don't know it Let me show you what he did because you mentioned who was our first teacher, right? So let's see what breathing into his nostrils the breath of life was. One of y'all can Pay attention, bro. Yeah, one of Stay on subject. Pay to your mask or Pay to your mask. You got it. Can one of y'all give to your mask or to your mom? Relax. Relax for a second. We're going to show you because you said who was your first teacher, right? That's the point. So let's see who the, the man's first teacher was. Read. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 24. For wisdom is more moving than any emotion. So it says, for wisdom is more moving than any emotion. Read. She passes and going through all things. She you know how I Wisdom. Oh, oh, oh. Said, Don't worry about it. We got you. We got you. She. I got you. But now, you, now you? let's get understanding, right? Because it refers to wisdom as a she. Why? Because wisdom so is that nurturing spirit. Nobody, Don't worry about it. Born okay. Jesus Christ, hey, you're right. Born was Jesus Christ a man or a woman? Mother, 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 I can give birth to anything that. in this Finish world. Reading that. If I am the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven, verse twenty-four. For wisdom is more moving than any emotion. Go she passeth and goeth through all things uh -huh. by reason of her Sorry, pureness. For she is the breath of Watch the it. power of Watch God. It. So it says, for wisdom is the breath of, of God, the power because of God. God is the head and God is the man. So listen. Understand Boom. something. So she so can't do it by herself. Genesis 2. She can't do it by herself. Something like that. She really can't do Genesis it by herself. Uh, no, she can't. But understand something about wisdom. Wisdom is referred to as a feminine in, in the in the feminine form there because of the nurturing attributes what, that it has. But no, understand something. Go back to Genesis 2, verse 7. 
Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Genesis 2, verse 7. You said women, but it's a friend of you. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground Go ahead. and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. That breath of life was that wisdom that was given to Adam. That's our first teaching. Now let's see who is the wisdom of God. Get Corinthians 1, verse 24, I believe. He just said Who is the wisdom? We're going to see who the wisdom is. See, y'all want to look at it. Uh, 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 Y'all want to say Adam and Eve? Who is Eve's real name? What was Adam, Eve's real name? Read. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 24. Read it out. The wisdom of the Most High God. Read. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, uh -huh. praise the power Jesus, of God. Jesus Christ is the power of God. And Jesus Christ is a man. The Most High God is a man. That's right. And Jesus Christ is the power of God. And what else? Read. Yes, and the, the wisdom and of the God. What? And the wisdom of God. And the what? And the wisdom of God. Read that from the top again. So that we understand that wisdom is referred to in a feminine form because of its attributes. But wisdom is not a, a woman. You understand that? Read. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 24. Bring it out. But unto them with which are called both Jews and Greeks. Christ, the power of God. It says Christ is the power of God. Read. And the wisdom of God. And the what? The wisdom of God. What is that scripture saying Christ is? Read it again. Christ, the power Christ, of God. the power of God. And the wisdom of God. And the wisdom of God. Now let's see what Christ is. That's still on me. That's still on me. Christ. It's the man or the head. Uh, the head can sometimes be whoever the one that says the son is the born head. But who gives birth was one. the question I had to ask. The question was, who gives birth? Who gives life? That's who the question. The man has the life, brother. Man gives <laughs> the seed to life. Does the seed swim? Do mm. Yeah, the, the, the seed, seed swim. The seed swim. Does the egg swim? What is swimming towards the egg? The seed. So what has the life? Who gives? Uh, now you're not answering. Now you're not, right? yeah. you're not being real. You're not being real. You're not being real. You're not being real. Let me say something. Yeah, I'm not being real. I am being real. So I'm what, that so shit. What, so what has the life? Like I put it in the nap and it still swim. But if it ain't got no life form to attach to to make it life or make it sprout to be something or somebody, you can't do that. 2828. This mic is not working. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 28. Here's the problem with our people right here. Read. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. That's the problem. Our people have been smitten with craziness now. That's right. To the point where I'm talking to a descendant of the original man, Adam, on this earth. Teach. Looking you dead in your face. Showing you that you're actually a prince that has power with God. <coughs> that the Father from heaven deals with you. Through Jesus Christ, right. which is another black name. Read that again. The Lord the shall Lord. smite thee. Say, say, which Jesus Christ are we talking about? Which Jesus Christ is written up in the Bible? I don't talk about you. Do we talk about this one? I'm talking about Yahweh once again. Talking Do we talk about you stuck on the name? Yahweh and Yahshuaeh. So you stuck Yahweh. on the name. Read that. Yes, I Read am. that and then we come back up. Yahweh. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. And that's the craziness of our people to the point where we're worried about a name while you see our people in the midst of boredom, drug addiction, drug abuse, drug selling, I agree with you on that boy. single parent household, all that, that and you worried about not, the name. I'm not worried about the name. I'm just worried about and blind. And you're completely blind, brother. Of who we supposed to be. An astonishment of heart. An astonishment of heart. 
So the problem with our people is that we're bugged out of our minds. That's to the right. point where you're told what your nationality is and you can care less. Like, That's no, right. No, no, no. You can care less. I care more. No, you don't. I care more than you. So what color is Jesus Christ? He ain't no color. What does the Bible say Jesus Christ's color is? Dark veil with light all around. Where did you learn that? I read it. I can't read it. I read it. What book did you read that from? Same one he read right now. So let's deal with the color of Jesus Christ. Oh yeah. I don't deal with KKB, but you know why? So that's the book we read no, no, out of though. No, no, let me tell you something. I'm All right. Tell you a real Give Revelations one okay, verse fourteen. Okay, We're dealing with the color of Christ. We're not dealing with. The point is, brother, we got people out here that need to hear this word. And right now, you're trying to teach instead of learn. We had, we see our people homeless, strung out on drugs, bugged out of their minds. You obviously are not in a position to teach anything to our people, bro. We used to scream black power while heroin was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.